Hey everybody and welcome to the first episode of Jonas Plays Your Games. I'm super excited for the first game because it looks really cool. And by the way, if you want to send me your game, this is exactly how the email should look. Look at this, it's beautiful. This is a game by Plan B. We'll link his Twitter account below if you want to follow him. You can see here um, this email contains all the important information. What this game is about, where to download it. The download link is a little further up, but I don't know if I can show that. Then here, the questions. What aspects of the game should be improved? ASAP to create a fun playing experience. And yeah, he also said he wants to compete with this game. So he wants to take part in competitions. Guess that's what that means. So we'll keep that in mind. What was the most irritating problems you encouraged? Uh, <laughs> what was the most irritating problems you encountered during playing? Do you think the enemies in the game are fun and challenging to play against? And do you think the different characters and upgrades provide enough variety for gameplay? So we'll have a look at that right now. So here we are in the game, plan B. I have to tell you two things right away. Firstly, Fraps tells me that your game is running at 30 frames per second. I don't know if that's true, but it certainly looks like it when I mo move the mouse. Doesn't look all that smooth. 30 frames per second is not enough for an action game. So to your question, what should you change ASAP is please change the frame rate to 60 frames per second. You can do that in Game Maker in the settings and then of course that means that you have to cut all speed variables that you have in the game in half. That will take a bit of work, I know, but I think it's worth it for an action game to run it with 60 frames per second in th instead of 30. I really don't understand why Game Maker has 30 as default. When will they finally put 60 as default? Then the second thing is, um, if you want to compete with this game, I think the main menu is a bit too boring. I mean, it's totally fine, it does a job, but you really want to make a good first impression and not only a good first impression, but a memorable first impression. I think your main menu looks good. I think it looks nice, it fulfills its purpose, but I don't think it's memorable at all. It just looks super duper standard, so. Maybe put something interesting on there that makes people wonder, hmm, wonder what this game is about. This looks interesting. Um, a menu like this is really not that memorable. But I like the style with the lines, so let's get started. Uh, nope, sorry. I wanted to play the tutorial. And... It's pretty cool. You show how to move down here. Left mouse button to shoot. Uh, R to reload. All right. And this mouse, the other mouse button to dash. I would definitely change the sound of the dash because honestly, it sounds like I'm taking damage. Every time I use the dash, I'm wondering oh, what hit me. Okay, now I have a missile launcher. That's cool. Uh oh. Why am I collect, uh, collecting these white dots? I don't understand what the purpose of these white dots is. I mean, it's fun to collect them, but I don't understand why I need to collect them. Oh, come on. <laughs> I really don't like the sound of the dash. It feels so much like taking damage. Uh, gameplay is cool though. Definitely not that easy. I'm this is just the tutorial. Uh oh. Whoa, the enemies are so fast. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay, I need to press Q to quit the tutorial. I think this keeps going for a while. So here we can apparently choose our ship. This is the one we played with right in the tutorial, I think, because it has the dash. Okay, this has an auto repair and ability fortress. 
Press right mouse button again to exit fortress mode. Increased firing speed and reload speed, decreased movement speed. Oh, that sounds interesting. That sounds cool. So let's go with this one. Okay, I like that there are in instantly new enemy types. Already has really nice polish, screen shake and stuff like that. Pretty cool. Makes this feel quite good. Oh no! Balancing wise, I don't really know when it pays off to go into fortress mode. Oops, oops, oops. Hmm. Yeah. Maybe I'm using it wrong. Um. It's a bit weird that, that uh, the space you can move in is limited, so when I go too far to the edges I can't continue going in that direction, is that right? Let me try that again. Yeah, so I can't keep going in this direction. Which is fine, but if you want to limit space, then maybe visualize this in some shape or form. Because if it's just like this, I'm wondering why can I not keep going in this direction? And also, I think I missed what this bar in the middle here does. Is this some kind of leveling bar. Is that why I'm collecting these white dots? Uh oh. Oh, blaster time! That's a cool weapon. Cool weapon. Oh. Oh, I actually have to collect these dots. Q to go to the next level. Ah, cool. Definitely need a bit better feedback when this bar at the top here filled up. Needs to feel rewarding. It shouldn't be like, oh, the bar is already full. That's cool. So whenever the bar fills up completely, it's cool that you can continue playing, but there should also be a cool feedback that BAM, you did it. The bar is full. You can go to the next level. Oops. Looks like I cannot go to the next level yet. Let's try the next spaceship. Um, wait, 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 wait. We tried those two. Longer invulnerability time after taking damage. Hmm. Oh, sacrifice two HP to summon an orb that increases damage. Max three orbs. When you have three orbs, your projectiles slow enemies. Summoning an orb replenishes the duration of the other orbs. Ah. Aha. That's a bit more complicated. I like it. Okay. Let's summon an orb. How do I see if the... Ah, okay, I see. The orbs start to flicker when they run out of time. That's cool. Can I kill myself? No, okay. Uh, 
So this one definitely has the most interesting ability so far. Dash, relatively boring. This is more interesting, but I'm not sure about the balancing of this. Because either the normal mode is better or fortress mode is better. I don't really see why I should switch between, between the two. So this is looks like something that is really hard to balance. And this is also qu probably quite hard to balance, but at least it's uh, a lot more interesting. I really like this. So what do we have here? Seclusion. You are invisible for two seconds. Enemy are attracted to a decoy. Oh, firing your weapon ends your invisibility permanently. Okay. The decoy explodes when your invisibility ends. Let's try that. Okay. Okay, that's super o overpowered. <laughs> that looks super overpowered. I don't even have to do anything, they just explode. Uh -oh. Q to go to the next level. Can I go to... Oh! Oh, you can go to the next level. So I think the problem before was that I already lost, so I couldn't go to the next level. So that's something you need to fix. You shouldn't be able to lose when the bar is already full at the top here, or at least you should still be able to go to the next level. Okay. Okay. That's interesting. That's cool. I like it. Additional firing speed and reload speed for each enemy killed. Resets when player takes damage. Damage taken as HP decreases. I don't know what this means. Minus damage taken as HP decreases. So we take less damage when we have less HP. But I don't have an HP bar. I have a certain amount of life, so do I lose half lives then, or how does this work? I don't understand. Additional drop attract range. Okay, so the little white dots that I apparently need to fill up this white bar to go to the next level. So I think I'm gonna go with the first one, because I like more firing speed, reload speed for each en enemy killed, that sounds good. Let's go with that. Q to confirm. Nice. <laughs> oh my god, just look how good this ability is. <laughs> it's insane. <laughs> Oh, I can go to the next level. Oh, Whew, that was close. So oh, I totally missed that. You really, really need better feedback for that. Weapon accuracy, more HP. More HP, definitely. Oh no! What is this and why do I have only three lives? 
Oh, oh, a boss fight in level three. Okay. Let's see what this is. Okay, I don't. I think my ability doesn't help me this much here. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this is hard. Nice. I like it. This is, I think this is kind of addicting. What other ships are there? Oh, there are more. How many are there? Okay, quite a bit more. So we, I think we need to try all of them. Create a vortex projectile that sucks in enemies and drops. Ah, drops. Ah, okay, I see. The vortex collapses after six seconds, damaging enemies inside. Okay, that's sounds similar to the previous one. Bit similar, but we'll see how it plays. I would like to have a small indicator somewhere if my ability is ready for usage again. But obviously I don't mean anything that clutters the interface even more. No, maybe just uh, something little. Size of player explosions. Which explosions? When I use uh, rockets or something like that, probably. Chance of restoring HP when killing enemies would be cool if you could write a certain percentage here or something like that. So I can estimate how good this is, but okay, here are no numbers as well. Hmm. I personally like when there are numbers, so I can try to do the math and figure out what's the best upgrade, but I can see that you probably try to keep it simple here. This is more or less just personal preference. I like having the numbers, you know. Additional HP and weapon drops. Hmm, what are we going to take? Chance of restoring HP when killing enemies sounds good. We're gonna take that. Here, for example, these lines that are surrounding me all the time, they could disappear when I'm not able to shoot my vortex at the moment. So I have some sort of feedback if I can shoot the vortex or not. Also, my aim is super bad. Can I shoot the vortex again? Come on, yes, thank you. Oh, next level. Using ability instantly reloads weapon. Oh, that sounds pretty, pretty powerful two additional HP. You see, that's cool. I like having the numbers. I don't like if it just is plus max HP. I don't like that plus two max HP. That's That sounds good. Additional movement speed, but how much additional movement speed? Hmm? How much? I can't tell. Using abilities. By the way, I don't mean to sound cocky or anything. This is an amazing game. <laughs> So, complaining on a really high level so far. Pretty cool. 
Using ability, which one am we, are we going to take? Um, mo let's take movement speed. I don't know how much, but let's see. Is it the same boss or is it a different one? Ah, oh, come on. No, 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 oh no. <laughs> oh, I think that can definitely catch you off guard if you haven't played the levels all that often. Please fix that, don't spawn the boss exactly where you have to activate it. Uh, that's a bit frustrating. I know it slowly turns red, but it kills you so quickly that feels a bit frustrating. Wouldn't do that. More weapon drops. Weapon drops explode after 10 seconds. Hmm. Increase crosshair size. What does increase crosshair size mean? So just the visualization of the crosshair. What, what, of what use is that? And firing speed for six seconds. Hold right mouse button to deal damage to enemies inside crosshair. Ah, now it makes sense. Damage and firing speed depends on your current weapon. Hmm. Hmm. Let's try that. Oh, I have very little HP. Does my crosshair actually do anything? I think you need a little better feedback for that. And when can I use the ability again? Oh, we can go to the next level. I always miss that. So how many upgrades are there to know? I think I have seen all of them. Hmm. Go with this one. Does this do anything? I don't really know. Maybe enemies in the within the range of the crosshair could start blinking or something. Just so you can see that it's actually doing something. This time I'm gonna get you. Oh no, it's moving so quickly. What? Oh no, only one HP left. <laughs> this is bad. This is bad. This is bad. Oh no. I like that the boss has different attacks. Pretty cool. But it's so hard. I want to beat the boss. Come on. Pirate. Shoots a hook that pulls an enemy towards you. Oh, why would I want that? 
Hooking an enemy reduces its HP by half. Does it work with the boss? Please tell me it works with the boss. <laughs> you are invulnerable and cannot move while using your hook. Okay. So I think that's the last one. Uh, we whoa, whoa, let's try to hook something. But it always hits me after I hook something, doesn't it? Oh no, I just, just blinking, uh, flashing because I'm invulnerable, I guess. I'm not losing HP, okay. That's nice. But I think the invulnerability is definitely the more interesting or the, <laughs> the more useful part of this ability. The hook itself doesn't really help you that much. The invulnerability for the one or two seconds I think is quite good. Okay. Let's go with this. A couple more upgrades would probably be cool. I'm starting to see the same ones again. Okay, that didn't go so well. But I want to beat the boss, so what's the best one? Which one should I go with? <laughs> Maybe we should try the Riftwalker again. Maybe the dash isn't all that bad. Oh yeah. Actually the dash is useful. <laughs> oh! I can go to the next level. I always miss that! Additional movement speed, let's go. Doesn't feel all that much faster, but whatever. Oh no. Oh, there's HP. I need HP. No. No. <laughs> Why is your game so hard? One more time, okay? Last attempt. Let's go with um, yum, 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 yum. which one has the most HP? Ah, oh, the Rift Walker, and it also has a lot of movement speed. Hmm. Yeah, let's try again with the Rift Walker, I guess. Or no, what was the cool one? Yeah. Ah, yeah, this was the OP one, overpowered. <laughs> Let's go with the overpowered one. Okay, it has two HP less, but I think that's so worth it for this ability. Holy cow. Ha, without losing a single life. Easy.
Player is reborn with max HP halved when HP reaches zero. Plus one max HP per level until original max HP is reached. Can be reborn again when original max HP is reached. Uh, what? This sounds complicated. So when I die, I live again, but with half of the HP. This sounds pretty good. Let's go. I can do it. Oh, I want to have the missile launcher. No. Okay. Easy, easy. Oh, another upgrade I haven't seen before. Fuel drops and accuracy for each enemy killed. What are fuel drops? What is fuel? I don't know. So I'm not gonna take it. Mine less than. Okay, we know that one. Hmm. Let's go with that one because now we have to fight the boss. It'd be cool if the bosses would vary every time you play. But I guess this is fine too. Oh no! Why do I have only one HP? This deals so much damage. And the boss has so much HP left. Oh, oh, come on. Yes. Thank you. Cool. I'm so curious to see what's next. Fuel collected when ready to warp is converted into HP. Forced to warp to next level in six seconds. Okay, ah, I think fuel are the little circle things we collect all the time. And when we are ready to go to the next level, we have six more seconds to collect little circles and that will restore our HP. Okay, that's a cool upgrade. I like this one. <laughs> yeah, we definitely take this because we need more HP. We're running out of HP. I hope. Okay. Oh, they are so fast. It's really hard to react. Come on. <laughs> okay, I like that there are new enemies. They don't really behave all that differently, but I can shoot them and they are new and I like it. Oh. Ah, okay. The bar was full, I didn't realize. Oh. Let's go with this one this time. So apparently I'm in bar 2, level 2.
<laughs> really focused. What are these force fields doing? Uh oh, only one HP remaining. Oh, no, no, no. Please, no. Please, no. No, so close. <laughs> oh. oh, I would like to play again, but I think we have already played for way too long. So let's try to sum this up. Let's try to bring this to an end. So the most important things I would fix is changing it to 60 frames per second because playing an action based, a really fast paced action paced game with 30 frames per second is not acceptable in 2018. Definitely not. Maybe make the main menu a bit more interesting. The tutorial works really well. Oh yeah, one really important thing you need to fix is giving way better feedback when the fuel bar at the top is full. So you can see when you can go to the next level. I like that there are a lot of ships. Um, some of them have a bit boring abilities. Some of them have really cool abilities. I think the Rift Walker is fine. The Guardian. The Guardian is a bit weird because uh, I feel the balancing is a bit off. What I would try with it is um, simplify this ability a bit. I would say when you are in fortress mode, you don't have a shield and you can not move at all, but your uh, reload speed and your shooting speed is highly increased. So this way you make a real trade-off. You cannot move. So if something comes at you that you can't kill fast enough, you need to go out of fortress mode. And then in different situations, you can go back into fortress mode. So kind of try to make, make uh, both forms viable, both fortress mode and normal mode. Here, I'm not really sure why I should ever use or why I should switch. And it just feels like two different chips and one of them is probably better than the other. <laughs> I don't know exactly which one, but yeah, feels feels a bit off. This one, oh, this one was interesting. This was cool. And that you could sacrifice two HP to summon this uh, blah, 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 disc orb thingy to do more damage. I really like this one, keep it. I also really like this one, but maybe you need to balance it out a bit by decreasing the HP because the ability is really powerful. Then here, the ships with abilities like this, with really long cooldown abilities are cool as well. I like this one as well. But please give me some sort of indication when I can use my ability again. If the cooldowns are that long, I want to have some sort of visualization of that cooldown when I can use that ability again. Um, Ganslinger. This one was weird because it didn't give me good feedback. I think the ability could be pretty cool and interesting. Definitely felt a bit underpowered. Maybe I used it wrong and it didn't give me good feedback. So it tells me that enemies within the crosshair take damage, but I didn't get any feedback for them taking damage. So that needs to be addressed, I think. And this one, honestly, the hook is relatively pointless. Maybe you can combo it with the shotgun quite well, but I don't, honestly, I don't know if that fits into your game. What I would go with instead is just uh, the invulnerability. So make, give me the ability to, to get invulnerable for two or three seconds. That's the more interesting part of this ability, I feel like. 
Okay, so that's it. Cool. I am very curious to, or I, would, I wonder how many levels you have created so far. I didn't get that far. Um, it's really cool, cool little shooter. I like where you're going with this. I just wonder what your unique selling point could be. I know you don't want to sell this game, you just want to take part in competitions, but maybe it could be interesting to think about what makes your game special, what makes it stand out. Because it's so far it feels like a pretty standard-ish sh uh, action shooter with a couple of different characters. A pretty solid one, pretty cool one. So it's nothing super innovative or mind-blowingly <laughs> interesting or new, but I think that's totally fine. The advantage of that is that you instantly get what you need to do, you instantly understand what the game is about. And it looks fun, it feels fun, it plays well, it would play even better with 60 frames per second. And I like it and I would have uh, liked to continue playing with this, uh, which is a good sign. Try to make this a bit more memorable. I like the style. And yeah, that's it. Hope this was helpful. Thank you very much for sharing this awesome game with us. Once again, links to your Twitter and stuff like that are in the description, so check that out. And don't forget to give Plan B some feedback. What do you guys think about this game? What do you guys think about what you have seen? Please leave some feedback. That would be awesome. Let's try to help this guy out and I'm out. <laughs> Bye.